Now, for the next fly, uh, I'm going to be using is the this is the the crow feather. Now we've got the soft stuff, uh, the soft fibre down the base, and the cut, it's got a good curl on it, which is very good for a dry fly, even wets. Uh, but I'm going to be tying a small black caddis. But I'm going to we're going to use up some of the, the straighter feathers up at the top, the straighter fibre, for the caddis wing, which is up here, which makes a good for makes for a great wing. So this is a small black caddis. I call it the coffin caddis because of the shape of this small caddis. Uh, we get it it's late in the season. It's usually I'm trying to remember exactly when I see it mainly. I think around about uh, September time. And the fish love them, like they just bounce in the water. Uh, they've got a bright red eye. But the, the shape of the caddis is like a small coffin. Yes, that's why I call it the coffin caddis. So anyway, this is around about size. This is a size 14. Hooks a full of mill. It's an all-purpose medium, size 14. The thread I'm going to be using is red, which basically the, the red head or the eyes, there's bright eyes on it. So this is giving the impression of the red eyes. So basically what we do is we run down with the red thread and we start in line with the point of the hook. Now I've got a dyed black CDC feather. It's a wide black CDC. So what I'm going to do is catch this in, the base, pull it into the tip. And then you could just, if you haven't got obviously black CDC, what you can do is uh, you can use uh, just a, a normal dry fly dubbing or anything like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist it to get a right card of shape like body, which helps. It's got a nice, it floats well this. So we just wind up, getting it tight. Just pull back, just at this point we're going to tie it in, just leave enough room for dubbing or a hackle. Now I'm going to use the, the remains of the CDC at the front. So catch this in, trim that away. Just tidy this up. So we've got a good thorax length there, area just to work with. Now the wing. I'm going to use this piece up here. I'm going to have to trim it out. I can't pull it off so I'm going to trim it away close to the base of the fibre. So what I'm going to then do is then I want to straighten up the ends because I've only got the one feather. We could use a right and left if we had one. But as I say I found that in the back door, the step. So I'm just going to use that, we've only got the one feather. And you can get away with just using the one feather. Now this is the underside you see. So we want a kind of swing that comes to you're looking around about twice the body length, so if you check, use that as a guide. Just throw back the fibres here, come in, you want to slightly by the bend of the hook. Fold it, so there's enough fibre there to fold it to form a wing and a right and a left wing. Just check and see how it's sitting. That's fine. You can then trim this away. Make sure you box your thread. Now we're going to do a couple of horns on this. Just going to grab a couple of these are dark bronze mallard feather fibres. Just going to make sure they're the right length. Tie it forward. Just pinch on the top. That's fine. Come down to where you cut in the wing. I usually just break these off. So we go back to our CDC feather. So we've got plenty of fibre here. And we trim this off the feather. Now you could use a small dubbing loop and wind this on. Or you can dub it on quite loose. It's up to yourself. I'm just going to dub it on quite loose. It's very easy to dub. Just to give impression of the legs, but it helps to float the fly as well. Just going to slide it up. Now I'm keeping my fingers away from it, really in a way, and spin from down the base here. Try and keep it as open as I can. Now you remember when you're using these flies, you're targeting fish. So the fly's only on the river or in the water for a short time. 
So it's not like you're waiting for it to float forever and drift the full length of the river or the pool. Once you get enough dubbing on, just come to the front of the wing, uh, the, the horns. To finish off, I'm going to basically put some varnish on my thread. Put finish. Trim that away. I'm going to get some uh, Velcro. Or you could use your dubbing needle if you haven't got some Velcro, just dubbing needle. Now hold the wing and then just pluck it out. Be rough with it. Even if you catch, don't worry too much, the horns will come back. So I'm just pinching the wing, keeping it tight together so that I don't catch it with the Velcro. And there we are. What I'm doing here is just bringing out the fibre. You can see it gives you the black, small black cardus. And they're very soft in the water, like, and so you, know, you don't eat soft fibre like the, the CDC. Yeah, you could, you could trim underneath if you want, but leave it, just leave it. Uh, get me now, you just use a, use whatever floating you have, make sure you put it into it. And especially into the, the legs and here and the body, let it soak in. And there we go, that's a small, as I call it, I say, the coffin caddis. Uh, it's just a small black caddis that comes off. And the fish do go for them really, uh, they, they, they definitely like them. And don't worry if you see some thread turns coming through, uh, it adds to the colour of the fly. And there we are. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And that's one from the tip section or close to that. Uh, quite simple to tie. And uh, as I say, it's just a feather I found in the back, the step at the back door. And so anyway, again, I hope you enjoyed the videos. And until next time, and thank you for watching.